Welcome back to North Dakota Today. Our next guest is the co-founder and change consultant for the Educators Lab, which believes that the best way to invest in students is to also invest in teachers. Dar Darcy Bakigard, thank you for joining us this morning to talk about this. Thanks for having me on. I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, awesome. And can you give us a little bit of background on the Educators Lab? Yes. The Educators Lab was founded by myself and my partner, Michelle Blanchett. We're two former teachers who got frustrated by professional development yeah. that felt like it was disconnected from what we needed as educators and more importantly, what our students needed to thrive and be successful in their classrooms. So we started designing workshops that allowed teachers to identify challenges that they were facing. Okay. And then using human-centered design and design thinking, they would design their own solutions. Okay. Because really who is in the best position to solve education's challenges? Mm -hmm. Like teachers, they're the people who are in the classroom, they're the people who see the kids every day. Mm -hmm. So why not empower them as yeah. catalysts for change and support their ideas and help them improve education from the ground up? Yeah, that was beautiful. And can you tell us a little bit about the process for designing and facilitating development programs? Sure. I always start with, what would I want? And yeah. I, that's a little <laughs> bit selfish, but I also have found that in talking to teachers, what really resonates with them, um, one of my favorite moments doing PD was at the end of an hour and a half session, a woman who was in education for 30 years, yep. she stopped me and she said, can I give you a hug? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she said, thank you for not wasting my time. Oh. And, that now is really at the heart of everything I try to do. Like, what is going to ensure that I'm not wasting a teacher's time? Yeah. Because there's just not enough time in the day. Mm -mm. We all know that. And as a teacher, you're scrambling from one thing to the next, and you're giving so much of your own time yeah. already. So how do I help make sure that they're accomplishing multiple things at one time? Yeah. So I've done that primarily through all of this problem-solving work that we do and tapping into joy Teachers are earning continuing education credit for their license renewal at okay. the same time. So m most of the time, teachers are redesigning something for their classroom that they would want to do anyway, mm -hmm. but normally they would be doing it on their own time. Yeah. And this way they can do it in a supportive, collaborative environment while earning credit. Yeah. So let's talk about the Joy Lab. Yeah. <laughs> The Joy Lab, I'm hosting a Joy Lab this summer for teachers. It's July 30th, right here in Fargo. And the idea is how do we tap in to our joy yeah. and our purpose as educators to be re-energized and renewed so that we can tackle the hard problems. So I don't want people to put on rose-colored glasses and mm -hmm. be like, oh, everything <laughs> is joyful. It's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. I want people to identify power of the joy they have around them and then weaponize that to tackle and address the problems okay because learning should be joyful yeah right like think <laughs> about little kids when they're learning something new it's so exciting and mm -hmm. that authentic joy I was a high school English teacher and I can tell you that spark was missing <laughs> from most of the kids in my classroom but how do we help get it back yeah so that the teacher is more joyful as they approach the very challenging job of being an educator mm -hmm. but ultimately so our students are having a more joyful experience in classrooms yeah so let's talk a little bit about the startup teacher uh playbook we got yeah. right here can you tell me a little bit about that Yes, four years ago, my partner Michelle and I wrote the Startup Teacher Playbook. And so this, it's a great example of how you have a dream and you push through something. We got the book contract. I knew I was pregnant when we signed the contract to write the book. And then a couple weeks later, found out I was pregnant with triplets. Yeah. And so we pushed up our <laughs> writing deadlines and I spent a lot of time with multiple babies on me editing this book. And it's designed to help teachers tap into their problem solving power yeah and act as catalysts for change in education how can they identify what needs to be done mm -hmm. and then have the support the time and the structure yeah. to actually implement 
their amazing ideas to improve teaching and learning. Awesome. And the Joy Lab happening Tuesday, July 30th, 830 a.m. to 330 p.m. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Darcy. Thanks for having me. Yes. And coming up next on today's show, we have your daily dose of daily motivation.